So this is just an optional video lecture. It's going to be a quick one. What I just want to tell you is that the um, code that we added this specific line, the uh, Google Analytics dot start session is optional. What do I mean by optional is that as soon as you have a prefab, as long as it's it's inside of your um, your project inside of your hierarchy, then you don't need to start a session. Google Analytics automatically starts a session for you. Now, sometimes you want to start a session faster and that's why I did it myself and I did the dot start session. Now, there's another um, another method that goes with it. It's called Google Analytics dot stop session. So whenever you're finished taking data from a specific user or from a specific session, just stop it here so that that would send a message to Google to stop saying that this user is live. So if you add the stop session, then whenever you'd go to the real time, it would say right now zero, meaning that this person is not active anymore. Okay, so if you want to be more precise, make sure to add a stop session. Now, I personally do not use stop session because it's okay if the user is still logged in a few minutes more than it's supposed to be. That's totally fine. And sometimes I force the start session. Now, when you do that, this sends errors sometimes. This sometimes sends errors because um, it's, it, it takes time to connect. What do I mean by this? Sometimes the connection to the, the dashboard takes longer to come back to say that it's connected so that this might just give you an error that there is no connection to the Google Analytics just yet. But just remember that that's okay. It will still work even though it may give you an error. So if you don't like to see errors in your log, then just remove this line of code and know that you would get the connection anyway. All right. So this is, this is all for uh, this uh, special announcement about start and stop session.